Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we're going to be going through 15 different examples of symmetry in Animal Crossing. I think that symmetrical builds can be just incredible and I managed to find so many that I think will blow your mind. Before we get started, thank you so much to my members. For those of you who missed it, I have updated the perks so that all members, including friends, are in the shout outs. So yeah, let's get started. First, I wanted to visit the absolutely stunning island of Carbonara by my friend Enna. We affectionately refer to this island as Carby. Isn't this symmetry just beautiful? And I mean, it's like extended symmetry because yes, we have this first little courtyard here, but as you keep going, there's even more across the bridge where I'm standing now. Look at that. This little fountain center piece. I almost said center plaza. Same thing. But even the flowers on either side are symmetrical. The level of detail here is incredible. The same thing over here, from the bushes to the flowers to every single furniture item, it's all symmetrical. It blew my mind, truly. Up next, I was immediately taken aback by how colorful this island is, but check out this overlook. I mean, how beautiful is this? I had to do like a double and then a triple take just to absorb what I was looking at. All of the red is stunning. And of course, if you're looking at this, you'll see that it's not perfect symmetry, but I think that symmetrical elements are enough. And that's what I'm looking for here. Like we have the carnations on either side of the museum entrance and the outdoor baths. It was just, wow. I think that symmetry works really well on the more elegant city-like islands. I think that you find it quite a bit there because it just makes sense for towns and cities to have these symmetrical areas. This little courtyard is no exception. It is so beautifully set up. I love the hedges all around and the simple panels and standees behind it just really help set the scene. I attempted to get back there because I wanted to look at them closer, but you can't get around. Either way, I was very thrilled with this. Absolutely beautiful. Speaking of city-like towns, I thought that this was incredible. I was living for the autumn vibes here, all of the pumpkins and everything, and I was really impressed with just how symmetrical it all was. Like not just on the ground, but even the upper level, the very entrance with the benches and the pumpkin towers. Is that what they're called? Also, I decided to hang out with Luna because I realized she was visible back here. Look how cute she is. Underrated queen. Anyway, like I said, you can see even the upper levels are symmetrical and I just, I love that attention to detail. Even the flowers are on the statue, perfectly symmetrical. I love seeing symmetry that lends itself to buildings nearby, like the mushroom area we saw with the museum. This is another symmetrical build arranged around the museum. So we've got this courtyard with the protective cannons. I almost said canyons. I am incapable of speech today, but look how beautiful this little courtyard is. I thought it was so cute. I love the colors. I loved how lush it feels, despite the fact that we're in a city courtyard. And I got really distracted just looking at the grassy path on the stone. Like, it looks just like the grass in the game. That's so cool. Isn't it? Oh, that's so cute. For a second, I was thinking that maybe the path, like the stone path, had just been arranged so that it looked like that. But no, you could tell right here by the tiki torch that it is indeed a custom grass path. Anyway, I just thought this was really well arranged and a looser version of symmetry, but still perfect. Speaking of looser symmetry, I think that you can also make it work just using the buildings at your disposal. So in this example, this island has a neighborhood that is set up symmetrically. So there are four houses all arranged like this. I think they're all very cute and the decor around them is not symmetrical. But you still get that feeling of symmetry, even though it's not perfect block for block symmetry. I think that's important to remember. Symmetry can be good in small and large doses. 
Also, I thought those train tracks were so cute, but that's not what we were focusing on. Look at this little courtyard. I don't know what to call it. It's like a plaza. It's right here at the entrance between the airport and residence services. Again, we see bushes, flowers, all the furniture, everything was symmetrical. And that was so impressive to me. Even the fencing was like perfectly symmetrical. I grabbed these presents because I'm nosy, not because I really needed them for the dream, but I did find out that they were very helpful vaulting pole and ladder. So if you visit this dream, you can, you can travel all around. I also wanted to talk about how symmetry can be pretty sneaky on some islands. I was looking at this island and the back of resident services is arranged like a little frog head. Look at it. I am begging you to look at it. Isn't it so precious? But when you're looking at the island itself, it doesn't even really seem that symmetrical. Like, yeah, there are some symmetrical elements in the furniture used, but you can't really tell on a broad scale that it is fully symmetrical in a shape. Isn't it so cute though? Loved it. And this wasn't the only island that had an interesting symmetrical aspect involving the map. This island was just stunning all the way around, but I was particularly interested in this orchard. It looks enormous. I love the way it's arranged and organized, the way it's separated by different colors and different fruits, and how the pumpkins are used. I thought was great. But the map, this is the orchard, the huge star. How cool is that? And it is 100% symmetrical. I mean, the detail, the thought that went into this. I was just stunned. I just walked around for so long trying to comprehend this, how the creator managed to shape it and make it look like that on the map. Oh my goodness. Definitely seeing a theme here in the way that people love to use symmetry right here at Resident Services. But look at this little plaza. It's like a garden right in front of Resident Services welcoming you to the island. I thought it was gorgeous. I love the color coordination, how there's like pink and blue on either side, but where their place is swapped, if you know what I mean. Just so beautiful. Also, I thought it was so cute that Blue Bear was walking around. She was really enjoying the island too. She loves this area. And then Chai decided to join. We are so blessed. Another very lovely city example of symmetry is this house that was built. To me, it was like a palace. I thought it was so lovely and I love these bridges that are used. I would have used the stone bridges, but I think the brick has a really nice contrast with these other designs here, the custom designs. And also the black fountain, everything is, it grabs your attention and I really respect that. I also love how the hedges, like the hedge fencing peeks out over the simple panels that make up the walls. It's just so well arranged. Another point I wanted to make is that again we see symmetry with the plants used. I think they have a big impact on how you perceive an area, the way different pieces of vegetation are placed. Up next is another example of aspects of symmetry without the whole area being 100% symmetrical. This one's pretty close though. We have some rice fields here. Again, very interested villagers. Etoile and Flora were walking around the whole time, especially Etoile. I love her though, she's welcome here. I thought it was really cool how the terraforming was arranged around these inclines. I didn't even realize you could put water so close, so definitely a learning experience. But I think the furniture place to break up that symmetrical feel is really, it's a nice touch. It makes the area feel super dynamic, even though it has that symmetry. This next island was so grand, it was, it was giving elegant vibes. I don't know how the creator labels the island, but it definitely felt super elegant. And I loved the way simple panels were used to make this building. I like how the symmetry, once again, is broken up by different placements. Here we have the beautiful statue and the pink hyacinths. Not completely symmetrical, but everything about this area was just gorgeous. I decided to go up and see what the building on top looked like with the bridge in front of it. It was just so beautiful. I mean, look at that. 
The arrangement just of this building alone is impeccable, so the whole build was astounding. This was another elegant, albeit like more natural build here. I thought this was lovely. It's a pathway leading to the secret beach and on either side we have cascading waterfalls. It just looked absolutely beautiful. Again, the beautiful statues here, I feel like they're just a staple for elegant builds as well as the turkey day garden stands. I was especially impressed by the way this path was made, the like curving nature of it, and the fact that this whole thing is so symmetrical, it's so beautiful with the waterfalls. Just very nice. Up next, we have very symmetrical terraforming here. This is an infinity pool space at the very back of this island, as you can see as I'm running around here. We have an infinity pool and a lot of the furniture is also symmetrical, not 100%, but a lot of it, especially the bushes. But I really liked how the terraforming especially highlighted the symmetry. On the left, you have the staircase up to a little pool with a bar. And then on the other side, there is another staircase. And this one leads into a little seating area. Very beautiful. It's like a DJ space, it looks like. Maybe a mini party. Also, Joey loves it, so we love to see that. On that note, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed these builds. I think that all of these symmetrical builds were just so beautiful and inspiring, and I can't wait to keep working on my island that has a lot of symmetry as well. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Here's Peaches to tell you all goodbye for now. I love you guys so much. I just wanted to say one thing before I leave. Thank you so much, Lisa, for commenting on Lexi's videos. I've seen you everywhere in her comments and you always say hey to me and i just wanted to say hey back and i really appreciate you saying hey to me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye